it is a common misunderstanding when it comes to scientific methods that results are objective knowledge. We might find patterns, we might unravel mechanisms, but they are fleeting at best. They change over time. What is knowledge today might be wrong tomorrow. So there are certain things, of course, that are more permanent when we look into natural science, when we look into the laws of physics. There are things that are definitely long term, but it's a really like what I hear quite often in this misunderstanding especially is that people believe their knowledge is best forever. And what we always need to remember is our knowledge is best today at the time that we did the study, at the time that we got the data, that we analyzed it and interpreted it. So this is a process over time, but when you come to revisit it, and studies have shown that, then these things change. Our knowledge, our experience, and also our understanding about methods change. And also maybe the experience, how we are critical, how we learn that we are biased, that we made mistakes. So it's a common assumption that you make perfect knowledge, but what you do is you make perfect knowledge and then it becomes more perfect. So in other words, it's changing and what is right today might be wrong tomorrow. Does that mean that there's no results that are really important? I don't think so. I think there's definitely knowledge that is long term and there's knowledge where we know a lot and then we even know more. This often is the case. With more knowledge we gain in precision and that is not only when we think about quantitative knowledge, especially when it comes to our deeper understanding in qualitative knowledge, we have certain jumps. We learn more when we have an additional, let's call it a data point. So for instance, when we analyze paintings, we can learn a lot if we suddenly analyze a painting that is a little bit out of the box, you know, that is maybe in a different context for, for the painter. So we have to remember that our knowledge is fleeting, it's usually improving, but it can be changing. And that's very important to remember because this tells us that we did our best in order to get the knowledge and then it changes.